Okay, here's a little explanation of my uh, plasma cutter. This is uh, this is just really rough. This is the first test of it, so I uh, just threw this together over the past day and a half. And uh, so we got a uh, 50 amp welder feed here uh, coming into a uh, SCR bridge for our rectifier, 60 amp bridge. The SCRs are run off of uh, two AAA batteries. Uh, this is a three phase bridge. So from there, go up to our capacitor bank, which is two 1800 microfarad capacitors. Uh, some of the other stuff, like this is pretty rough still. Uh, this is our 100 amp contactor for our uh, controlling our. Uh, current and then uh, get some little pilot relays in there got our uh, solenoid right here 24 volt DC solenoid uh, this 50 amp contactor will be our main contactor for turning the power on and off to the unit a uh, little 24 volt power supply down here just to power that uh, solenoid under there and those two relays so then uh, follow the blue line down there's our regulator. The compressor is a little low right now. Down to about uh, just under 20 pounds. So, but there's that. And uh, right here we got our uh, MSD ignition module. That this will be the uh, high voltage starter for the controller once I get a uh, new coil. This is the coil I have right now. This is a, you can see this one's been around the block a couple times. It, uh, it just doesn't have enough guts to uh, to start the uh, the torch right now. So if I uh, get back up there, there's spark plug. We got a 15 and a half volt, 6.6 amp power supply right here. And uh, coming off the power supply is a center tap transformer, to uh, which is hooked up to the points connection on our MSD, which uh, goes over to our coil, coil to spark plug, spark plug into our torch. So I'll show you this real quick, just to uh, get an idea of it. So if I uh, plug it in here. There's our spark, and we do get a spark inside the torch, but it's just not hot enough yet to uh, to light that torch. So I'm gonna get a uh, high performance 60,000 volt coil from Street and Performance, hook it up to uh, that MSD there, and that should uh, should be able to light our torch. So this is the quick manifold that I threw together to get uh, to get the power into the line because the hose on a plasma torch is your negative feed as well. So you just got a piece of brass pipe in there with a hose clamp on it. Just for now. So, when you're only one dealing with this stuff, you can take a little less precaution. Nobody else is allowed around this, so. So, there's our 100 amp contactor. Follow that down. We find 5,500 watt water heater coil, 240 volt, that uh, is 10.4 ohms, which will give us uh, 26 amps to our torch right now with just one coil. I'm going to hook up uh, three coils in the end. This is a 70 amp torch. Here it is. It's a Miller APT 7000 torch. And, uh, I just taped a little button on there for now, for uh, so I can just get it cutting, see what it can do. So then from our uh, resistor coil here, we come down. There's an amp clamp there, so we'll see what we're, how much current it's using. Come down to an old uh, bungee cord. That's our positive leg that goes on our material we're going to cut. So then, 
come back to the torch over here. And we'll go through our whole cord from the negative side. There's our uh, 25 feet of cable. Not too sure what I'm going to do with all that. A bit more than I need. Over to our torch. And there it is. And uh, hit the button. You can hear the air flowing. And it turns on the high voltage at the same time. So, like I said, this is only 26 amps right now. Did a little bit of cutting. Got some uh, stainless steel. This is about, uh, about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Uh, my unsteady hand. Just uh, kind of hard to hold the torch that's meant to be mounted in a CNC machine. So, and then we got some little squiggly lines. A little bit of uh, a little more squiggly lines on this piece of box here. So that's also about a sixteenth inch. This stuff here is uh, an eighth of an inch thick. So and then we got another piece of stainless steel around here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah, we uh, came off at the end of that one there. So ah, here it is. So well, there it is, started at the bottom, worked our way up, just, uh, just played around the top, cutting off. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it definitely works. Uh, proof of concept. So, well, uh, next up now I'll be ordering some bigger capacitors, some bigger diodes for the bigger bridge, bigger DC bus, and uh, a couple more heater coils, and uh, bigger starter coil, and be putting it all in an enclosure to build a uh, CNC plasma cutter. Hope you enjoyed it.